How's it going everyone and welcome to some more juicy 2.2 content. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to give yourselves a bit of a leg up when it comes to resources. I'm going to show you guys some secrets, how to unlock some icons. I'm going to show you guys some things that you should do right away as soon as you fire up 2.2. Honestly, before you even fire up Dash and the tower, the first thing that you should do is you should go down here and you should click on this little thing that says paths. There's all of these different paths of power which correspond to the different elements in the game. In Geometry Dash 2.11, there were fire shards, ice shards, poison shards, shadow shards, la and lava shards. So now there's five new ones for 2.2. There's earth, blood, metal, light, and soul. So these paths, they correspond to each of one of the 10 elements. And what you can do is you can click on one. Out of all of these, you know, fire, ice, and all that, I kind of want to do metal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this. Now, it costs 50,000 orbs. So if you don't have 50,000 orbs, you're kind of out of luck. You'll have to get them first. But if you do have 50,000 orbs, I implore you to at least buy just one of these paths right away. This is one of the first things you should be doing with your mana orbs as soon as you get 50,000. If you don't, save up and then unlock one of these. But I'm going to unlock this one. I'm going to unlock the Path of Metal. Boom, nice. Well, I got the Path of Metal, and just for unlocking it, I do get an icon. So if you wanted to, you could unlock all of these and get different items. You could get the first item of each path. However, it's really important that you just unlock one of these paths, because the way the paths work are, when you activate a path, stars and moons you collect will level up your path. So when you have one of these paths unlocked, when you beat a level, a platformer level getting moons or normal level with stars, it'll go towards unlocking this path. And when you unlock 1000, you'll get to the end of the path and then you'll all have unlocked all of these. Okay, so I just beat a six star level. Let's see what our path looks like now. So if we go to the path of metal right here, it says six out of 1000. Now 1000 isn't just for the next unlock, it's to unlock everything in this path. You can only have one path active at a certain time. And so it's just really important for you to unlock just one of these so that you can start earning rewards for this path. And then once you fully unlocked one path, then you can go and unlock another path and you can make it your active path and you can start working towards that one. But it's really important right away, you should unlock one of these paths so that you are contributing and unlocking rewards right away. Even before you play the main levels because the rewards for those will count towards the path. Now, if you want to start unlocking some icons and stuff, um, there's some shops over here. So you can click on the diamond shop, which I think you need like 500 diamonds in total to unlock the shop. And one thing that's really important is if you do have the diamonds for it, you should unlock this item, which is the music unlocker. I would definitely save all your diamonds if you don't have enough just to buy this before you start buying some other things. I mean, there are some really cool icons and I'm probably gonna be picking out some that I really like because I have the diamonds to spare. If I didn't have the diamonds, I would buy this first. This item lets you play normal music in practice mode. So before this was only available in Mega Hack, but now you can actually buy it with diamonds. So when you're practicing a level, you don't have to listen to the practice song. You can actually listen to the normal song, which helps you a lot in practicing with music sync and things like that. So this music unlocker right here is very important. I would use your diamonds to buy that first thing right here you can hear like the practice song right yeah and it's yeah it's 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 okay i mean i used to use the song a lot you know however if you go into the options when you pause the game and click practice music sync now you can hear the actual song in practice mode and it helps you because there's a lot of music sync moments da -da 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 and it helps you use the audio cues for your inputs and it, it just helps you immensely practice levels now what do you do if you don't have the diamonds for it but let's say you have some demon keys stored up so what you would do then is you would go to the treasure room to these chests. I have 1,446 demon keys. I haven't spent any on the new chests, but the new chests, they have diamonds in them. So if you don't have enough diamonds for the practice song, then what you can do is you can just start unlocking some of these chests. There's a bunch of normal chests here. I've unlocked most of these. I mean, I unlocked all the ones from uh, 2.11. However, how many diamonds does this give you? Oh, that gives you icons. I guess sometimes it gives you an icon. That was a cool looking icon. Sometimes it gives you icons. Uh, it gives you shards of power. So these one demon key chests don't really give you much. They don't really give you diamonds, do they? They sometimes give you orbs. Okay. If you can unlock some of these 10 demon key chests, 
then you start getting some diamonds. 20 diamonds, it's not much, but it's a help. If you have enough, you could even go on and start unlocking these big chests. And these big chests will give you uh, more diamonds. So let's see how many diamonds a 25 chest will give us. Okay, it gives around 100 diamonds, which is quite a lot. I would definitely start unlocking these. And that's, that's cool, dude, that train. The more demon keys it takes to unlock a chest, the more diamonds you'll get. What would be the best denominator to start unlocking these? Let's see how many of the 50 unlocks. So I got a new UFO. Uh, okay, so the 50 probably unlocks 100 or 200 diamonds. So I don't really think it matters what kind of chest you're opening. But let's go check. Let's open up one of these bad boy 100 chests. <laughs> let's see what we get. Boom! I got 500 diamonds for that. Wow! So if you have enough, 100 demon key chests probably will be the most economical. If you're trying to get 5,000 diamonds, I would say just from these chests, you wouldn't have enough resources if you don't have enough diamonds anyways for that. But these can be a nice little booster if you need just like, maybe you need like 400 more diamonds to afford the practice music hack. You can come and open some of these chests. Wow, look at all those I unlocked. I unlocked like a whole set there, like a whole icon set. So yeah, these demon chests will help you out. Also, if you're looking for some diamonds, there may be a way you can get them right away, depending on how much you've played the game before. So if you click on this button right here, lists, you can go here. And for example, there's a list here that was made by Viprin called Memory Lane. So I can view this list and you can see that you need to beat seven levels, seven out of the 10 levels on this list to claim a diamond reward. Now I've beat a lot of these levels because they're massively popular, like Nine Circle, System Split, In Silico, Death Moon, Decode, X. I haven't beaten these other non-demon ones, but I've beaten enough where I can claim I can claim 40 diamonds, which is pretty nice. Some of these levels by like Auto Nick, for example, are a little more chill. It's only 25 diamonds, but you know, you only need to beat 10 of these levels, which would go up to an easy demon, Blizzard, um, which I think, uh, you know, you could, many people could do. Um, and this one by uh, Subwoofer, you only need to beat seven of these levels. And well, I guess you need to beat all seven to unlock the diamonds. But if you look at that, there's only one insane level and the rest of them are easier. So this is a way that you can get some quick diamonds as well. And more lists will be added as we go, which is really cool. So to get into the mechanic shop, you have to collect 2000 diamonds. And I definitely have that enough. Yeah, I have an impressive collection of diamonds. If anyone asks, I didn't let you in. Scratch keeps trying to sneak past my security. I can't see. Ah, sorry, my goggles were off, come in. So this is the mechanic shop and the mechanic shop has a bunch of stuff that you can buy uh, with orbs. What's this? Oh, dude, that's cool. So for 100,000 orbs, you can buy this and it lets you customize practice and menu music. So you can change the menu song. And there's a bunch of these. There's a bunch of uh, ship fires you can get. So like behind your ship, it'll look different. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff to buy and it's, it's there's a lot of orbs, but I want to buy this. I want to be able to switch my menu song for sure. So anyways, uh, that was my first time to the mechanic. Uh, the mechanic has some cool looking stuff. But man, 100,000 orbs, you're, you're breaking my bank, man. So to switch your music, you got to click on the options down here, and then you click on options in the settings. Now you got to scroll over to audio and you go to your list of saved songs. And then on your list of saved songs, you find one that you like. Now I love uh, Time Leaper. Time Leaper is one of my favorite songs. So I'll click on this. I got to click on more right here. And then over here on the bottom left corner of that, there is practice and menu. So you can switch your menu song. And now my menu song is Time Leaper. I don't know if I'll keep it. It's kind of an intense song. So now with that, you can switch your music, which is nice because I'm actually tired of the Jump Josh menu music. I actually like this one, the Ascension by Kyler Man. I think that's a cool menu song. Okay, so at this point, I would go and do the main Rob Top levels. Go and do that. If you're good enough, head to the Gauntlets. And there's five new Gauntlets. There's a World Galaxy Universe. I think these ones have a lot of demon levels in them. Um, the Discord and Split, I think, don't have as many. Clean up some of the gauntlets. You can get some rewards that way. Maybe you can get some diamonds and stuff from the chests. Let's look at some of the secrets. So there are five new vault codes that will give you icons and unlock things for you. So let's uh, let's go do those. So the first vault we're going to go to is if you click on the settings icon down here, you can go to this lock that's on the top right corner and you will get to just the vault, the normal vault. So right here, this is some new dialogue. What is the hardest demon? Dot, dot, dot even harder than extreme demons. If you type in final boss, you get an icon here. Boom, you get this. A true memer unlocked a new swing copter. 
The next vault we're going to go to is if you click on the hammer and wrench and go to this other menu and then you click on the lock up here, you go to the vault of secrets. It's been so long. I feel like I've forgotten something. Dot, dot, dot. Where's that smoke coming from? So this is a uh, hint for uh, this code. I'll give it to you. The chicken is ready because Rob Top said uh, before 2.1 came out, he kept on saying the chicken is ready to go. Like the update is ready. And so uh, it's just, it's an allusion to that. So you type the chicken is ready and you get this icon cooked. You overcooked it again. Well, the chicken was in the oven for a while for 2.2, wasn't it? So this one, remember the 2.1 awards? Me neither. Yeah, that was, that was a long time ago. So in the 2.1 awards, there was a secret code called dash geometry that was used. Some of the letters were switched for numbers and I forget exactly which ones. Dash geometry like that with some of the numbers switched for letters. That's not it. I think it's gotta be capital D or SH capital G three zero M E seven R Y. I think that's it. And there we go. We got the icon nostalgia. So I think the capital letters are important. I was forgetting to put the capitals in there. So make sure you type that in right. Okay, so we've unlocked three icons. We got to move to the other vault. And the other vault is if you go to the normal Rob Top levels here and you go to the coming soon page, the very last page, you can click here and you can go to the Chamber of Time. Legend tells of a level so hard, no one can beat it. So yeah, this is that's back on track for sure. Back on track. Boom, and yes, we got the Gatekeeper's Enigma. Okay, and there's one more we can get in the Chamber of Time. Good levels are hard to find sometimes. Wish I had someone who could find them for me. Dot, dot, dot. Forget it. So this one right here is called Give Me Helper. Boom, and then we get the Gatekeeper Cipher. So that is the last secret code. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys one other cheeky secret is if you click on this button here, Versus, Keymaster says versus mode has been delayed, but it's in the works. But if you keep on clicking, yeah, it's still delayed. I blame Rob Top. Who else could we blame? We're not even real. Speak for yourself, I'm real. Yeah, a real pain in the... <laughs> You're just mad because you don't have a shop. You have a shop? I have said too much quickly to the chopper. You don't have a chop. <laughs> but, he, but he does. <laughs> this is great. <gasps> That's it. Okay. So anyways, there's a little cheeky dialogue tree when you try to click on the versus mode a bunch, which is it's pretty funny. While we're talking about 2.2 features, may as well take a look at the weeklies. So if you look at the weekly demon, you can click up here on the safe and you can see all of the past uh, weekly demons. However, you do not get the weekly rewards for beating them, though. So you don't get the extra diamonds for beating a level, which um, on the weekly demon, I didn't check. But I know on the daily level, I beat like an old daily level and I did not get my diamonds for it. So even though you can play all the old daily levels and it shows you which ones were daily, which is pretty cool, admittedly, you do not get the rewards if you beat them late. And then, of course, you're going to want to set some new icons after you have bought a bunch you can choose whatever you want. I'm going to do that in another video. I'm going to switch all my icons and do some shopping. And we're going to see just how stylish I can get. I'm going to be changing it up. I'm going to switch, I think, all my icons for 2.2. I think I'm just ready. I'm ready for a change. I might keep my ship, though. I love this ship. Anyways, I hope there was some useful information here for you guys. And uh, yeah, good luck in 2.2. As always, peace.